Just as all light is subsumed within the sun as its source, all phenomena are subsumed within awakened mind as their source. Even the impurity and confusion in the universe of appearances and possibilities. Whatever occurs, by examining basic space as its matrix and abode, you find that it has no foundation, but is subsumed within the timeless freedom of mind. Beyond labels and their meanings, confusion and its absence are subsumed within the true nature of phenomena, the timeless expanse, the supremely spacious state. Even the marvellous display of awareness's own pure manifestations. The Kayas, pure realms, timeless awareness and enlightened activities. Is subsumed within the naturally occurring state that is not made or unmade. Awakened mind subsumes the universe of appearances and possibilities. All of samsara and nirvana. Lucid and uncompounded. It can be compared to the sun shining in the empty sky. Occurring primordially and naturally. It is a spacious timeless expanse. Mind itself is an unchanging vast expanse, the realm of space. Its display, the dynamic energy of awakened mind, is indeterminate. In that it entails mastery over samsara, nirvana, and all spiritual approaches. This unique state, in which nothing need be done, outshines everything else.
There is no context anywhere that constitutes an extreme. There is no straying at all from the true nature of phenomena. Awaken mind. Given that everything is wholly positive, arising as a single state of spontaneous presence, that which is sublime and without rival, the greatest of the great, within which everything without exception is subsumed, is the wholly positive basic space of phenomena. Since everything is united within it as though under a monarch, it entails mastery over all samsara and nirvana and does not waver at all. Since everything is wholly positive, with not a single thing that is not positive, all things are identical within the wholly positive state, in which there is neither good nor bad. Since everything, whatever is or is not the case, is of the same basic space, all things are identical within the unwavering, spontaneously present state of equalness. The single state from which everything without exception arises is the basic space of phenomena. There is nothing to achieve or to seek within the context in which nothing need be done. Since effort and achievement are not other than their natural state of basic space, whence could effort come? To what achievement could it lead?
since there is no object to seek, nothing to perceive in meditation, no state to achieve, nothing that comes from anywhere else, and no coming or going. There is equalness, Dharmakaya. This spontaneous perfection is found within the basic space of the supreme sphere of being. The transmission of Travikas, Prachekha Buddhas and Bodhisattvas are decisive concerning the non-existence of both the self and what pertains to it. And so they are identical in their intent. A space-like state, free of elaboration. The transmission of Supreme Yoga, the sublime secret of Ati, is that of resting in genuine being, just as it is. Naturally occurring timeless awareness within the spacious state in which there is no distinction between self and other. So the ultimate meaning of the enlightened perspectives of all three lower approaches is subsumed within this sublime heart essence. three approaches of Kriya, Upa and Yoga, moreover, which employ oneself, deity, meditative absorption and clouds of offerings, are identical in holding that spiritual attainment comes from the complete purification of body, speech and mind. However, according to the secret and most majestic transmission of the Vajra Pinnacle, appearances, sounds and awareness are completely pure, timelessly the deity.
spiritual attainment is fully evident as the complete purity of body, speech and mind. And so the enlightened perspectives of all these approaches are subsumed within this sublime heart essence. In the three stages of Maha, Anu and Ati, moreover, the universe of appearances and possibilities is a pure realm of masculine and feminine deities. These stages hold that the unwavering nature of phenomena is naturally occurring timeless awareness. For basic space, and timeless awareness are inseparable in their total purity. Given that everything is completely pure within this sublime, excellent secret, the immeasurable mansion, without being created, is a blissful realm, a timeless expanse. Within this infinite and all-pervasive state, which cannot be divided into outer and inner, there is nothing to characterise in light of your value judgments. With everything timelessly infinite, the spacious expanse of Dharmakaya the enlightened perspectives of all these approaches are subsumed within the heart essence of the Supreme Secret. Perfection in one, perfection in everything. The expanse within which all phenomena are subsumed is itself subsumed within the supreme state of spontaneous presence. A timeless, a naturally lucid state of utter relaxation.
This is the sixth section of the precious treasury of the basic space of phenomena, demonstrating that everything is subsumed within awakened mind. The transmission of awakened mind, spontaneously present by nature, is the summit of the most majestic mountain, not created, yet ensuring all that has ultimate meaning. Exalted above all, it is the supreme and most majestic spiritual approach. Once one has reached the summit of a majestic mountain, one can see the valleys below all at once, while from the valleys one cannot see what it is like at the summit. Similarly, Ati, the Vajrahat essence, is the pinnacle spiritual approach and sees what is meaningful in all others, while the lower approaches cannot see its ultimate meaning. Therefore, it is the pinnacle, the peak experience, which is spontaneously present. It is like a great wish-fulfilling gem that, if prayed to, ensures all that is wished for as a matter of course. Such is not the case for ordinary things. Since the Vajra heart essence is the spontaneous presence of the three Kayas, Buddhahood is ensured in and of itself within the basic space of natural rest. It does not require effort or achievement. That is its superiority.
Although those in lower approaches strive through acceptance and rejection, they accomplish nothing for eons. What a great debility. Awakened mind, timelessly spontaneous and uniform awareness. The spacious nature of phenomena, just as it is, the naturally settled state, is Dharmakaya by nature, the expanse of primordial equalness. It is present in everyone, but within the reach of only a fortunate few. If left just as it is, it is innately insured within that context. Sambhogakaya, infinitely pervasive, naturally lucid and spontaneously present, is present in everyone, but the perception of it is within the reach of only a few. If you rest naturally, with whatever manifests, without conscious striving, it is evident. The continuous display is the infinite expanse of Namanakaya. It is present in everything, clear in the arising of things. It is the pure expanse of self-knowing awareness the miraculous display of wish-fulfilling qualities and activities, moreover, is nowhere else. Like turbid water when the sediment settles, it becomes clear if you rest in the naturally pristine state.
The truth of primordial purity is not found by being sought. Enlightenment, Buddhahood, is evident within the naturally occurring expanse. Since it has already been accomplished, there is no need to achieve it anew. This naturally abiding greatness is enlightened intent. The expanse that is the true nature of phenomena. Make no effort concerning what is unchanging and spontaneously present. The timeless ground, the innately abiding ground, is the ground that is at the very heart of enlightenment. Since it does not stray at all from the context that is its nature, do not stray from the lucid expanse that is the ultimate meaning of awareness. The reason that everything is ensured by being left as it is lies in the unchanging, ever-present state of sovereign mastery. The five aspects of timeless awareness.
the state of original Buddhahood, the five aspects each of enlightened form, enlightened speech, enlightened mind, enlightened qualities and enlightened activity is spontaneously present within the beginningless and endless expanse. Do not seek it elsewhere, for by nature it is timelessly ensured. Moreover, enlightenment, Dharmakaya as experienced by all Buddhas, is none other than the ultimate meaning of unchanging equalness. And since it is spontaneously present within that naturally occurring context, do not seek it. Do not try to achieve it. Completely let go of hope and fear. Even the naturally occurring timeless awareness of all ordinary beings is unmade and unsought and spontaneously present as Dharmakaya. So do not react with rejection or acceptance, but rest in this context of basic space.
within the essence of being, spontaneous and uniform, unwavering and beyond deliberation, lies a spacious expanse of the ground of being. Not created, yet ensuring all that has ultimate meaning. unchanging and ever-present, the embodiment of the kayas and timeless awareness is a conferial of the supreme, naturally occurring empowerment, like the investiture of a royal heir. Since the universe of appearances and possibilities is timelessly and spontaneously present, there is no need for concerted effort, for it is spontaneously present by nature. Everything is ensured, unfolding as a supreme state of spontaneous presence. This is the seventh section of the precious treasury of the basic space of phenomena, demonstrating that everything is timelessly and spontaneously present within awakened mind.
within naturally occurring timeless awareness, a single basic space. All things are present in such a way that they are, in essence, non-dual. Continuous dualistic perceptions arise as a display due to the dynamic energy of awareness. In what is called the awakened mind, there is no duality of sensory appearances and what the mind imputes about them. Within enlightenment, awareness without transition or change, the universe of appearances and possibilities, whether of samsara or nirvana, arises with nothing to renounce or attain. In the experience of yogins who do not perceive things dualistically, the fact that things manifest without truly existing is so amazing they burst into laughter. Although sensory appearances do not exist, they manifest in all their variety. Although emptiness does not exist, it extends infinitely, reaching everywhere. Although dualistic perception does not exist, there is still fixation on things having individual identity. Although they have no basis, a continual succession of lifetimes manifests. Although nothing exists that can be refuted or proved, pleasure is accepted and pain is rejected. Looking around, I find the perception of beings to be truly amazing. 
They fixate on what is not real as real, so that it certainly seems real. They fixate on confusion, where there is no confusion, so that there certainly seems to be confusion. They reify what is indeterminate as determinate, so that it certainly seems determinate. They reify what is not so as being so, so that it certainly seems so. They reify what is untenable as tenable, so that it certainly seems tenable. Ordinary mind is seduced by trivial sense objects in all their variety. One's useless focus moment by moment extends into a continuum as days, months, years, whole lives go by. Beings are deceived by misconstruing what is not dualistic as dualistic. As a yogin with a pure mind looks inward, awareness without underlying support or basis is free of labels. It cannot be perceived in any way that can be characterized or described. Structured view and meditation are done away with. Given this state of infinite evenness, open, relaxed and spacious, there is no sense of spiritual practice, for there is no distinction between formal sessions and the periods in between. Everything is unrestricted, completely equal and uninterrupted. With no reference point, whether body or sense object or perception, 
There is infinite evenness within the undifferentiated, vast expanse of space. And so there is no inner agent that can be held to have identity. As you look outward at sense objects manifesting externally, everything is unobstructed, vivid yet ephemeral, random without any reference point. You perceive, hear, think, are aware, experience and feel as never before. What is this? Are my perceptions by nature those of a lunatic? Am I in a dream? You burst out laughing at yourself. You are free of any notion of enemy or friend, attachment or aversion, near or far. Since there is a unique evenness in that everything is equal, without any distinction between day and night, samsara, the reifying of characteristics and reference points, is cleared away. Since you have no concepts about the scope of naturally occurring, timeless awareness, you have transcended the cage of acceptance and rejection, of what is an antidote and what is to be abandoned. With such realisation, there is non-dual, timeless awareness. You have arrived at enlightened intent, naturally occurring and wholly positive. You have arrived at the point of resolution, with no chance of falling back.
without any realization of equalness in its naturally occurring state. You may obsess on the word non-duality and place your confidence in some state that you speculate has no frame of reference whatsoever. This is truly a mistaken notion. The dark realm in which awareness is not recognized. Therefore, it is in the naturally occurring state without transition or change that the most majestic perfection of goals is experienced as non-duality. The total freedom of the three realms the ultimate meaning of the non-duality of samsara and nirvana is the fortress of dharmakaya, the nature of being that arises inherently from within, such that it is completely pure like space, yet is in fact beyond all metaphors. As long as you remain fixated on individual things, on this or that, you remain caught in dualism, the cage of confusion entailing self and other. When you make no biased distinction of this, everything is the same in the state of equalness with no frame of reference. And so Vajrasattva declares, non-duality is realized.
This is the eighth section of the precious treasury of the basic space of phenomena, demonstrating non-duality within awakened mind.